हेलो डे स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अ न्यू लेसन फ्रॉम आर बाल भारती टेक्स्ट बुक लेसन नंबर थर्टी टू द नोबल मंकी इट इज़ अ वंडरफुल स्टोरी बिफोर वी सी द स्टोरी वी शैल रीड द लेसन एंड देन सी द वीडियो ऑफ द स्टोरी आई यू रेडी लेट्स बिगिन लेसन नंबर थर्टी टू द नोबल मंकी इन अ फॉरेस्ट ग्लेड ऑन द बैंक्स ऑफ द रिवर गंगा देर वॉज अ टॉल शेडी मैंगो ट्री Every year it bore big juicy mangoes that were very sweet to taste. In the forest there lived hundreds of monkeys with their king. The monkey king was bigger, stronger and also wiser than all the other monkeys. The monkeys loved the mango tree for its spreading branches, cool shade and delicious fruit. They often played about on the tree and enjoyed eating the tasty mangoes the king warned them don't let even a single mango fall into the river if the current carries it down to the land of men they will come here in search of the heavenly fruit and destroy the peace in this land the noble monkey in the first paragraph we see that in the forest glade means a wide space where there are many trees on the bank of river ganga now this forest was situated on a bank of a river and the name of the river was ganga there was a tall shady mango tree and every year this mango tree would have big juicy mangoes and in the forest there lived hundreds of monkeys with their king the monkey king was bigger stronger and also wiser than all the other monkeys these monkeys they loved the mango tree for its spreading branches cool shade and the delicious fruit they were enjoying their time there they often played about on the tree and enjoyed eating the tasty mangoes their king warned them don't let even a single mango fall into the river if the current carries it down to the land of men they will come here in search of the heavenly fruit and destroy the peace of the land so the monkey king said that all the other monkeys should take care that the mango does not fall not a single mango should fall into the river otherwise if the mango goes down to the river and to the land of men they'll come searching for the tree and they'll disturb all of us and they'll destroy the peace of our land But one day however a ripe mango fell into the river and was carried with the flow to the city of banaras it was found by a fisherman who had never seen anything like this before so he presented to the king when the king tasted a slice of the fruit he liked it very much he shared it with his queen and ministers they all loved its flavor and in the end it was decided that a search party should be sent to find the tree that bore such divine fruit let's go to the next page here we are a fleet of rafts sailed up the river carrying many of the courtiers and the king himself by and by the fleet of rafts reached the forest glade on the bank of the river and also found the mango tree laden with fruit the king and the courtiers were overjoyed when the king's men noticed the monkeys enjoying the fruit they were annoyed they decided to drive them away mercilessly they sent volleys of arrows to kill the monkeys and to scare them away for good but one day what happened suddenly a ripe mango fell into the river and was carried away with the flow to the city of banaras mango was ripe and then it fell down into the river and with the flow of the water it was carried to the city of banaras due to the flow of the water and as the mango went with the flow of the water it was found by a fisherman and this fisherman had never seen anything like this before so the fisherman thought now what to do what to do and then he had an idea he took the mango and he 
went and presented it to the king now the king tasted the slice of the fruit when he he ate it he liked it very much so he shared it with his queen and the ministers they all loved the taste they enjoyed the taste they were very happy that they could taste this delicious fruit and after everybody ate it now they decided that they will go and search the tree which bore this divine fruit so a search party was left to find this tree now a fleet of rafts sailed up the river carrying many of the courtiers and the king himself means many people started their journey to find out this tree by and by the fleet of rafts reached the forest glade on the bank of the river and they started their journey and moving ahead by and by means by the time passes they reached the forest and when they reached the forest they found the tree which was laden with fruits it was full of the mango mangoes all over the tree and now the king and the courtiers they were so happy they were overjoyed but very soon the king's men noticed the monkeys enjoying the fruit all the monkeys were eating the mangoes and were very happy so they decided to drive them away mercilessly and they wanted the monkeys to go away from there so they could take the mangoes and have them all for themselves so they sent volleys of arrows to kill the monkeys and scare them away for good volleys of arrows means shooting arrows through the bow all of the soldiers all of the courtiers who were there with the king they started sending volleys of arrows and all the monkeys were hit by the arrows now they were not understanding what to do it was very painful the, the monkey king swung to the other side of the river and ordered the other, others to do the same move quickly save your lives by vanishing deep into the forest on the other bank he urged however he soon realized that the river stream was too wide for the others to follow quick as lightning he did something very unusual catching hold of a tall cane with his legs he swung back to the side where he and the other mon- monkeys waited then he took firm hold of a branch of a tree this way he made a bridge across the river with his own strong body the monkey king then ordered the monkeys to rush to the other side over his own body the monkeys lost no time in following his command the monkey king's body was being trampled upon and bruised and injured by the rushing hordes of monkeys but he did not waver he kept a tight hold over the cane and the branch till the last monkey landed safely on the other side by then he was badly injured and had lost all his strength he fell down in a swoon the king of banaras was watching this with amazement he was touched by the bravery and sacrifice of the great monkey king he asked his men to stop shooting arrows the unconscious monkey king was gently lifted from the bank of the river and placed on a couch near the king of banaras the king tried his best to revive the great ape after a while the monkey king slowly opened his eyes why did you sacrifice your life in this way said the king of banaras the monkeys are like my children i am their chief and guide and it is my duty to protect them they are now safe and i die a happy death i am glad that i could do my duty so saying the great ape closed his eyes forever the king of banaras never forgot the great sacrifice that he had witnessed the monkey king swung to the other side of the river and ordered the other monkeys to do the same move quickly save your lives by vanishing deep into the forest on the other bank he urged but soon the monkey came, king came to know that the river stream was too wide for the others to follow now 
the distance was too big. So what did he do? Quick as lightning, he did something very unusual. Catching the hold of a tall cane with his legs, he swung back to the side where other monkeys waited. Then he took firm hold of a branch of a tree. This way he made a bridge across the river with his own strong body. So monkey king, he took a long cane and with the hold of it, he held the branch of a tree very strongly with his body. And because the distance was too wide, he held the cane with his legs and with his strong body by catching a branch of the tree he made a bridge for all the other monkeys and you can see in the picture he has made a bridge for them and he's asking them to cross the bridge quickly the monkey king ordered the other monkeys to rush to the other side over his body he said that climb on me and quickly rush the monkeys lost no time in following his command. The monkey king's body was being trampled, means was stamped upon, and bruised means he got hurt and injured. It was bleeding by the rushing hordes of monkeys. Hordes means many monkeys were stamping on, on him, so it was very painful for him. But he did not waver. He was very strong. He held the cane and the branch very strongly till the last monkey landed safely on the other side. By then he was badly injured and had lost all his strength. He fell down in a swoon. Swoon means fainted because he was very tired and hurt. So he fainted down. The king of Banaras was watching this with amazement. He was amazed to see the deeds of the monkey king. He was touched by the bravery and the sacrifice of the great monkey. He asked his men to stop shooting the arrows. The unconscious monkey king was gently lifted from the bank of the river and was placed on a couch near the king of Banaras. He was taken by the king's men, gently lifted up and he was placed near the king of Banaras. The king tried his best to revive the great ape. After a while, the monkey king slowly opened his eyes. When the monkey king opened his eyes, the king asked, Why did you sacrifice your life in this way? said the king of Banaras. The, mon the monkey king said, These monkeys are like my children and I am their chief and guide. And it is my duty to protect them. They are safe and I die a happy death. I am glad I could do my duty. So, saying the great ape closed his eyes forever. Means he died. The king of Banaras never forgot the great sacrifice that he had witnessed. The moral of the story is, self-sacrifice is the greatest sacrifice. You should always take care of people around you. So this is the wonderful lesson which we learn from the monkey king to take care of each and everybody around us. I hope this lesson is clear and you understand it well. Copy down the hard words and now we shall do the question answers of this. Let's start the question answers. Copy question number one. Write the meanings of and you have to copy these meanings. Write exercise number one. Write the meanings of. First one, glade, an open space or clearing in a forest. Number two, delicious, tasty, comma, with a pleasant taste or smell. Third one, heavenly, here it means wonderful. Fourth one, divine, of good or gods, here it means excellent. Laden with fruit, means with great quantities of fruit on it, mercilessly means without having any mercy or pity. Volleys of arrows means many arrows sent or shot at the same time. Vanishing means disappearing or going away. Swoon means faint. When a person swoons, he, she is not able to see, feel, hear, touch, move, etc. That time we say that the person fainted. Next is the last one. Revive, that is bring back to life. So there are nine meanings. Now let's move 
to the next exercise. Answer the following questions. Where did the monkeys live with their king? Answer. The monkeys lived with their king on the banks of the river Ganga. Let's go to question number 2. After you complete copying this, let's go to the second question of the exercise given above. Question number 2. Read it. Why did the monkeys love the mango tree? Answer. The monkeys loved the mango tree for its spreading branches, cool shade and delicious fruit. So copy the second question. This will be our exercise 2. Answer the following. From the exercise 2, this is your second question. Exercise 1 is meanings. Now let's move to the third question of our second exercise. That is question C. What did the monkeys king want the others to do answer the monkey king want the other monkeys don't let even a single mango fall into the river if the current carries it down with the to the land of men they will come here in search of the heavenly fruit and destroy the peace in this land so this is what the monkey king said that's why we have put it in double inverted commas do it the same way okay let us read it once again then copy this question. How did the king of Banaras come to know of the fruit? Answer. One day a ripe mango fell into the river and was carried with the flow to the city of Banaras. It was found by a fisherman who had never seen anything like it before. So he presented it to the king. Thus, the king of Banaras came to know about the fruit. This is the answer. And now we shall move to the next question. Why did the king's men decide to drive away the monkeys? Answer. When the king's men noticed the monkeys enjoying the fruit, they were annoyed. Annoyed means angry. Hence, the king's men decided to drive away the monkeys. Now we have copied five questions and answers for the same in our exercise too. We have one more question. We will copy it and then we will move to the next exercise. So, question F. How did the monkey king save the other monkeys? Answer. Catching hold of a tall cane with his legs, the monkey king swung back to the side where the other monkeys waited. Then he took firm hold of the branch of a tree. This way he made a bridge across the river with his own body. In this way, he saved the lives of other monkeys. Now, here we complete question number 2. Now let's go to question number 3 that is exercise 3. Here it is 2, you make it 3. From the lesson find the words that are used to describe the following words. First one, mango tree. So how it is described? Tall shady mango tree. Then how are the mangoes described? Mangoes are described as big and juicy. Third one, the monkey king is bigger, stronger and also wiser. Now, exercise 4, write the opposites of. First one, strong, weak. Second, big, small. Third one, king, queen. Fourth one, tall, short. Fifth one, shady, sunny. So, here are five opposites. You have to copy them down. This is our exercise number 4. Now, let's go to the last exercise of our lesson. That is exercise number 5. Who said to whom? Answer. Don't let a single mango fall into the river. Answer. The monkey king said to the other monkeys. Next, I am their chief and guide. The monkey king said to the king of Banaras. So, we have two who said to whom. And then the lesson is over. Here, copy everything neatly. Let's see you in the next class. Bye.